Hello, my amazing readers. I hope you're doing great today. We are having a reading lesson today, and we are starting a new story, a new text, which is called Dive Teams. It is an expository text or informational text. That means we're going to learn many new facts and things about dive teams. So let's get started. Now for this lesson, we have this objective. By the end of the lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can identify key ideas and details about a main idea. We're going to learn how to use a graphic organizer like this one that you can see in your screen. This is a graphic organizer. So here we have the main idea, which means what is the text talking about? What is the text mainly about? And then we have the spaces for details. Those are details that you find in the text. So we're going to go and continue with the lesson. Now think about the following questions. What are some jobs where people do exploration? What kinds of things or places do they explore? How does teamwork help when you are exploring a new place or doing something new. Now, on our previous lesson, we learned that exploration means, you remember? It means to search, to learn about new things. You explore when you want to find out new things about something. So what are some jobs where people can explore? Can you think of any? Mm, if you want to know about new things. What about if you want to know about new things about space? Do you remember our Emirati astronaut? Do you remember him? Yes, you remember. I remember that day in class. We watched all his videos. He went to explore. He went to learn about new things. So that could be a job where people do exploration. So can you think about another one? What kind of things or places do they explore? Now, if we talk about, so if we think about Haza al-Mansuri, he went to space. So those are the kind of places you can go to explore. Now let's remember, we, went, we once went out to explore around school. You remember that? We became little scientists and we weren't exploring. What kind of places we went? We went out in the garden. We went and we searched for new things. So we were exploring. We were out on an exploration. Now, how does teamwork help when you are exploring a new place or doing something new? Teamwork, what we always use in our class, teamwork. Remember that time we went out, one of you had to collect data, remember? One of you took a bowl uh, in each team, one of you had to take out a pencil and paper to take notes. Others were searching for things, others were carrying the hand lens. Each one of you had an important job. And at the end, one of, you, one of you had the job of speaking in front of the class. So each one of you had an important job in your team. So that is called teamwork. And it's important when you're exploring so that you can all help each other. Now, the main idea of this text that we're going to read today is teams for exploration. Now, here are some details about teams. Some teams, they explore the mountains. And these are three people in this team. They help each other. Some teams work in caves. Some teams work in deserts. 
some work in space. Some teams work in pearl diving. And other teams work in the forest. So these are different teams for exploration. And each team member has an important job. So now you can click and copy the link below to listen to dive teams. But now I am going to go ahead and read for you the page that we're going to be discussing today. Now, before we go to the text, let me explain a little bit more about the story. The title of the story is Dive Teams. It is an expository text. Expository text means also informational text, which gives facts and information about a topic. It may have photos, captions, and maps. So it, do, it has real pictures, real photos, not drawings, and captions of the pictures. That is a expository text. Text, sorry. So let's go ahead. Now, what I just told you, I just told you the title of the story. Can you say it? Can you say the title of the story? Dive teams. Excellent. The woman in this photo is a diver. A diver. What do you think a diver does? Do you have any idea? By this picture, can you tell where does he work? Where does she work? Mm, what do you see behind? Is the sea and look at her equipment. She's using different things. So do you have an idea now? What does a diver do? So divers can help each other stay safe. Let's read the next page to find out what does this woman do with a team of divers. Before we read the story, I'm going to read for you these questions so that you keep them in mind so that when you, we are reading, you start to get an idea of how to answer these questions. Question number one says, what did Gloria want to look in the ocean. Number two, why did Gloria decide to join a dive team? Number three, what are different jobs in a dive team? Number four, why did Gloria choose to be an underwater photographer? Now look at this picture. These are Divers. So now do you know what a diver is or what a diver do? Great. Let's start reading. Imagine exploring the underwater world of the ocean. Perhaps you want to see how sea animals live. Or you may hope to search for sunken ships. That is just what Gloria did. Gloria has always lived close to the sea in California. She swam and surfed at an early age. She became interested in the ocean, so Gloria became an expert diver. She decided to join a dive team to find sunken ships. What would her job be? Each job on a dive team is important. One serious job is using machines to dive team needs. Another job is to repair or fix these devices when they don't work. Gloria is an experienced photographer, so she decides to photograph what the team discovers underwater. And this is the caption for this picture, which says, Gloria and her team search for the sunken ship. Now you can also go and take the book on page 435 and read it as many times as you wish. Now, let's go for the questions again. 
What does Gloria want to look for the to look for in the ocean? Can you find it in this text? Can you find it? I'm going to give you a few seconds. What does Gloria want to look for in the ocean? Now, Gloria is our character for today. The name of the diver is Gloria. Now, let's read again the first paragraph. It says, imagine exploring the underwater world of the ocean. Perhaps you want to see how sea animals live. Or you may hope to search for sunken ships. That is just what Gloria did. So she is likes to learn, look for sunken ships. Number two, what is Gloria designed to join a dive team? Why did she decide to decide to join a dive team? So in the text it says that she lived close to the sea for all her life. She became interested in the ocean, so she became an expert diver. The word decide is right here. She decided to join a dive team to find sunken ships. Again, sunken ships. Do you guys know what a sunken ship is? Can you see the picture? There are, there are ships that have sunk before in the ocean and they have been there for years so they like to go and search and explore maybe they find new things about ships number three what are different jobs in a dive team so they have all different jobs one serious jobs is using machines the dive team needs so the machines they need are very important they have the mask and the tank that they need to breathe and to have oxygen under the ocean. That is one of the jobs. Another job is to repair or fix those devices. So to repair another job. So one job is using machines. The other job is to repair or fix those machines. And Gloria has a very nice job, which is to photograph. Her job is to photograph the team underwater. Why did Gloria choose to be an underwater photographer? Because she is an experienced photographer. So she decided to join the team and photograph what the team discovers underwater. Now, for task number one, you need to reread the page 435 and add two key details to the graphic organizer. The main idea is that each job on a dive team is important. One detail is that using machine the dive team needs. Give two more details about the jobs in the team. And task number two, you have to copy this link in your browser. And before you start doing it, you have to write your name at the top of the worksheet and submit it and send a photo of your results. Don't forget that after completing your work, upload a picture of it in your class dojo portfolio. Bye bye.